today's episode, I am going to be working on the lower shock mounts. I'm going to modify a set of shock mounts that most guys typically run on the front of their cars, which is this. You guys have all seen these. Everyone runs them on the front. They would go this way. This surface here would sit up inside where the wishbone mounts to the front axle. So I'm going to be removing that. I'm going to be cleaning these up. I'm going to get these modified, get these cleaned up. So what I'm going to end up mounting them to is I have this side mocked up already. But on the passenger side, you can see I'm going to end up mounting them to the leaf spring pad. So as soon as these, I'm going to weld these right to this pad. And there's a hole here where the U-bolt goes in. That U-bolt obviously goes over the rear axle. But it's going to go through like that. I'm just going to try to set that there. And then this is going to go like that. And that's going to be my lower shock mount. But again, I'm just going to grind this down so I can get it flush so I can get so I can get a nice weld around the outside edge of this. So I'm going to get these modified right now, then get them in the sandblaster. I'll get the paint sandblasted because they come painted so they won't rush. And uh, as soon as they're sandblasted, I'll be able to get up underneath the car, get the surfaces on the spring pads, on the uh, leaf spring pads cleaned up. And I'm going to get them tacked in place. Once they're tacked in place, I'm going to get the rear axle assembly out of the car. I'll be able to flip it over upside down and be able to get a nice weld on it. Once those shock mounts are welded to the rear axle, that's going to be it on the rear axle. So the next is going to be, I just have to pull the rear axle out of the car and start cleaning it and getting it ready for sealer and paint. So, care to join me? Bow, bow, bow. All right, so I just got to pull this shock off. I got these shocks from my buddy Tim down in Rhode Island. Well, these are old Columbus shocks. I was really fortunate I was able to get them from Tim. I love the looks of the shocks and the shocks they would have run back in the day. So. Just a cool piece to have on the car, you know? To get these modified real quick and then I'll get them sandblasted and painted. So I'll get them sandblasted and then ready to go so I can get them welded onto the to the spring mount, to the spring pad. So what I'm gonna do is I just wanna clamp these in the vise real quick. I just need to, like I said, I just need to trim this off right here. This raised area where it tucks up inside the wishbone. to get that removed. Get my hearing protection and away I go. Get that.
sandblast cabinet. It's as, it's as good as it was the day I bought it, if not better. I ended up purchasing an extra light kit for it. I put a separator on it with a desiccant filter on it as well. It works so good. So I'm just getting the paint off of these so I can get them welded onto the spring pad. Quick and easy. What I need to do now is I need to get the spring pads cleaned up. And uh, once that's done, I'll throw the U-bolts back in and I'll get my spring, my shock mounts set in place and I'll get it welded. I'm torn to whether or not I should put it inbound or outbound. I don't know if that would be too much of an angle. Let me get it cleaned up first and then I'll deal with that after. The only reason why I'm using these is because I had them hanging on the wall in the shop. And the, only, and the reason why I'm welding them is because I've seen them on people's cars rotate. They weren't tight enough. And <coughs> Excuse me. Figured I'd minimize the or eliminate the chance of that happening by welding them on. Alright, so I'm just gonna get these tacked in place. Well, this one for now. Tacked in place. One tacked in place. Just make sure it's at the angle I want it. Let's get this axle pulled out. actually roll out from under the car. I don't know if it will. Well, I guess it will. Perfect. Hi honey! Hi! Hi! Hi you! What are you talking about? I don't drink those. Love you. Love you! Who are you talking to? Uh, my, all my friends. You don't have any friends. I have just thousands. Where? They're real popular. Where are they? They're around. Can't really see them, but Where they're, they? yeah. they're around. <laughs> Over there. Hi. That's Miss Alley. They get to see your butt the whole time. Yeah, well, for now, they have to. They gotta take the good with the bad. I thought you were gonna wait to do this later so I could help video. We'll do other stuff. <laughs>
Like what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. I bet your viewers love my, like, attire. Always. They always compliment you on it. So now, I'm going to rotate this axle assembly. And get these shock mounts welded in place. All right guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm working on just getting these wheel spacers off. Once I do, I'll pull the hardware off of everything. For now, I can sandblast all the little stuff in the blasting cabinet. Let me get things ready to go so I can get this entire rear axle assembly blasted. Pop these drums off, disassemble the rear brakes, get the wheel cylinders out, the pads, the springs, everything. I cut the emergency brake cables, they were still intact, but I have new ones to replace these with, so I'll be able to do that. I'm going to hit it with super clean, I'll get everything cleaned up, and then get, like I said, get it ready for sandblasting. Shouldn't be too much to sandblast this, like I said, I'm going to go grab maybe a couple bags of media, and get this thing ready for paint. So I'm struggling with this side, it just doesn't want to come off, I guess it's just been on there too long. Sprayed it down with croil, but I don't think it's hung up here, I think it's hung up on the pads. So I thought I adjusted it, I don't think I did. I think it's, I think it's seized in there. I can see on the edge where the pad ends, so I know I'm not prying it with the pad. It just won't go. It's moving on the end of the axle. I can see it moving, but it's just not, it's not coming off. Just trying to kind of wedge something in there to create enough pressure to get it to pop. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's hung up on the pads. That's pretty obvious, but get it to pop. Yo! I heard a pop. That's what I was looking for. Just took a little bit of finesse. I guess that's everything with these cars, huh? A little bit of finesse. All right. this all apart. I'm obviously going to leave the axles in. Open the sandblast, the media isn't going to get in 
into the seals are in. I'm gonna grab some pliers. I'm gonna take a quick picture of this. So I have a reference. Oh, I see a bad stud right here. Some threads missing on it. I'm missing a stud on the other side. So I'll have to get, I'll have to order some new wheel studs before I put it back together. So I have my adjuster here, which like I had said, I was tapping on it, trying to adjust it. It wasn't moving, so I may have to order a new set of adjusters. Yeah, it's solid. So I gotta order a new set of adjusters. I'll order a pair of those. I already have the emergency brake cables. I have new wheel cylinders. And like I said, I mean, these pads look pretty good. I have new drums already that I purchased. I think I, I think I bought new pads, which obviously makes the most sense to redo it all. So that's what I'll do. So I got these clips here, the pins, got two springs there, a lower spring holding it on the adjuster. The wheel cylinder's gotta come off. The emergency brake cable is here. And then it looks like I'm gonna need one, at least two wheel studs before I put things back together. Let me grab some pliers and yeah, basically pliers. And I should be able to get these brakes off. That's the lower spring. Emergency brake cable, which is trash. So then on the back of that is the emergency brake arm. I'll have to pull that off in the event new shoe, the new shoes that I bought didn't come with it. Just what are you doing right now? Mom? So that's the wheel cylinder. So that's when you when you push the brake pedal, the oil, the fluid, brake fluid comes in, it goes into these lines, it expands a diaphragm inside here, and then it pushes these two pins out. That opens the brake pads and then it, they push against the inside of the drum. I have all of the components to replace everything that I just took off. Oh, I gotta remove that emergency brake cable. There's like three prongs on these that you gotta get them all. I don't know if this whole unit comes off. I should probably see. I think it must. They have bolts. Yeah. This is like a post that the brake pads sit on right here. That's where they pivot. So I was just thinking maybe that would come off, but those must be welds. So that's okay. Alright. So I'll sandblast all the little stuff in the cabinet, but the big stuff can't. It's gonna get done outside here somewhere, and I just don't know where yet. And I'm not looking forward to it because I don't have a. It's just to wear like a suit or something. I'm gonna have to wear my one of my spray suits for work. And like my dirt bike riding goggles. It's it's gonna suck. That's it all toned down. I gotta grab some bags or something to put all the pieces in. I'm not gonna throw anything away yet because I wanna make sure I have everything I need. So that's it, that's the rear axle assembly torn down. It's as far as I'm gonna tear it down, let's put it that way. I thought you were gonna get the machine. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna get this cleaned up first though. I got the super clean out in the big shop. I'm gonna go grab that. It's been a long time coming to get to this point. And I get, I mean, I guess compared to my other cars, I haven't really been working on it that long, but it just seems like a long time. I'm sure you would agree with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
But when you stood up, I didn't have you fully in the frame, so only this part of you was in there when you talked to me. Oh, not my head? Now your head's in there because I backed up. I think I'm good here. I'm going to go grab the super clean, and I'm going to spray everything down with super clean. I'm just going to let it soak for a little while. Okay. Do you want me to go thing? down to the big shop? Sure. Come with me. We got super clean. And then what I also did was, I use super clean to wash everything. And I always have. Funny story, I said to you guys before, super clean reached out to me and offered me a lot of their products. And there's a local hardware store here in New England that closed their doors probably two or three years ago, just because of the big box stores that moved into towns local to us. And I had gone into this hardware store and a bunch of, the, bunch of their locations and bought all of their super clean off of the shelves because it was not just because it was at a, at a discount I've been using super clean for years and years on my bikes racing motocross and, and everything so um, I use so much super clean I put it in a pump sprayer <laughs> well, that's how I'm gonna go spray down the rear axle assembly I have a little bit left in here all mixed up and diluted and should be should be enough to do what I need to do. Yeah, the big shop's a mess, but what are you doing? What happens? Super clean, super clean. Do they have a theme song? I don't know, but I could make one. I don't know if they do. I'm super good at singing in the kitchen. It's not clean it's unless it's super, super clean. clean. That has to be their theme song or their motto. So, like I said, I use super clean so much that. I keep it in a pump sprayer. Yeah, but then you're really bright. You kind of look like an angel. And I know that's false. So. Well, I was going to say. You know. yeah, I'm going to go grab a couple of brushes. I thought you were going to let it sit. Yeah, but I want to scrub it in. Look, it's already coming off. I'll be right back. I stole this from the kitchen. You didn't miss it though. Did you? No, I bought a new one. I've had that. I've had this for a while. Mm -hmm. This was pre alley. This is a pre alley brush. No, it's not. <laughs> Can you power wash? I should probably this? grab the power washer. Yeah. I make, had the idea first. That would make. Michael and I think very alike, yeah. so I have to claim it when it's my idea, yeah. so he doesn't believe That's it. Okay. So much for him saying, I'm just going to let this sit on there. He never does what he says. Never do. No. Did it's I too sunny. Can I spray this again? It's too sunny. Like, this video is not coming out good. You need to go down there. Whoa, look at all that. You see it? Super clean! Grease! Grease, grease, grease. Alright, I'll be right back. dry off for a few minutes and I'm going to push it back in the garage and just let it dry off for the night and then tomorrow or we'll, whatever we whatever whatever day I'll get out here and I'll get it sandblasted and then we'll get it in primer and then paint and then back up under the car thanks everyone for the support appreciate everybody Whoa. watching the videos you guys like what I'm doing and you like the videos I'm putting out Hit that subscribe button, and then also the notification bell. The notification bell lets you guys know every time I put up a video. So it helps me out a ton, and uh, I really appreciate it. So thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. Take care. Bye-bye.